Okay guys, well, we're out here uh, flipping logs in this uh, forested swamp area, and uh, we pull up one of my lifelong goals, and that is the two-toed amphiuma, or amphiuma means. This is a very cool species because it is almost legless, as you see, they just got tiny little nubs, and there's two tiny toes, which you can't see unless they're in water, because uh, they're kind of dry, they kind of get stuck together on land. But uh, just an incredibly neat species because, I mean, they're so fossorial and uh, they spend their entire life almost below ground. And uh, they have tiny little eyes which you can't really see. They're just really tiny. You see those tiny little feet? They're really tiny. And uh, in the water you can see they have these tiny little black dots along the side of their body which is sort of like a lateral line to sense animal prey in the water. They, uh, they feel the electrical uh, impulses, it's almost like a shark. But you can see it's just basically a ball of slime because they're really hard to get a hold of. See, here he is. Really cool species. Um, that's what we came out here for, as well as other species. And uh, incredibly neat. Um, they do have a tail. It starts right there. It looks like it's in breeding season because the cloaca is a little swollen. I think that's what most salamanders do. Um, they eat, I believe they eat crustaceans and eels. I think they eat crayfish and stuff. I'm not sure. They do have powerful jaws, but this one's not really biting much. As you can see, he's breathing. And they never leave the water unless it's raining really hard. They might, they'll, might cross roads and stuff, so. Um, they have really cool species. Um, there's really no other salamander around here that looks like this, except for sirens and stuff. Oh, they're really hard to get a hold of. Really cool. Flat shaped head. They'll burrow in the muck. Get underneath logs. This basically looks like an eel. And uh, this is actually the main prey item for uh, mud snakes and rainbow snakes. Because that's, uh, they're pretty much found in the same habitats. So if there's the, these here, there must be mud snakes here too. So that'd be pretty cool. Belly's a plain, almost just like a salamander belly. If you look at it, nice. It's a little paler. Pretty cool. That's really cool. So uh, yeah, we're probably gonna let him go after we take pictures. And uh, so yeah, see you guys. This isn't an adult. It's probably sub adult. Sub adult, I would guess. They do. How big do you think they get? I think they get about two two foot or so. Two foot? Yeah, I believe they get pretty big. Yep. See, incredibly neat species. They're tiny little eyes. They're basically built for life in. Uh, Swamp habitats like this, just really, really acidic water, backwaters. You see those little legs at work? You can kind of see them right there. Tiny little toes. And there's the one-toed amphiuma, and there's other species that are similar called the sirens. There's the greater and the lesser siren. So, yep, we're going to take pictures. Here goes the amphiuma in the muck. You never know he was there at all. So, uh, yep. Farewell.